Homosexuality in America is a touchy issue. And that's why I feel like I need to talk about it. Hello Internet, I'm David and this is The Pursuit Blog. This video is directed predominantly toward homosexuals. Because I want to talk to you and I want to hear from you. But before I go any further, you need to know something, especially if this is the first time you've ever seen one of my videos. And that is, I'm a Christian. And if that scares you, if, if that makes you withdraw some, I am very sorry. Because that means that you have been damaged, you have been mistreated by other people who carry the same name, Christian. And that is never a good thing. Too often people who call themselves Christians have taken upon themselves to demonize people who are not like them. They may have ridiculed you, they may have uh, said very nasty things about you. And for that I really apologize. Some people even want to cram their agenda down your throat without considering who you are or considering your value as a human being. And it's just not right. I have to confess, I used to be one of those people. Growing up, I used to be very homophobic until I got placed in a job where a large percentage of the employees were, were homosexuals. I think God did that for a reason. Because it was in that period of time that my eyes were opened. It was like God just dropping my prejudice lenses that I had, just throwing them away. And I started seeing these people the way God sees them. They were human. They, they, they were people that God loved and cared about. And it was in seeing them in this way, the way God sees them, that I realized I can't, I can't hold hatred or distance myself from these people anymore. But unfortunately, too many people, especially in this country, have not had that experience. Now, I'll be honest, I, I still do not believe that the act of homosexuality is biblical. But I'm not here to cast stones over sins. Because frankly, I, I believe any sex outside of marriage is not biblical. And if I wanted to really start picking on somebody, I would pick on the majority of heterosexuals that are out there that engage in sex outside of marriage. But my point to this video is to let you know that God is bigger than people who call out His name. God is bigger than the people who pick on you and the people who ridicule you. You see, God so loved the world, all the world, everyone that was in it, everyone that is in it, that includes you. He loved the world so much that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. So I'm sorry if you've ever been treated like anything less than people who God loves. And people who don't realize this are people who have not allowed Christ to really transform who they are. Because that is what it means to be a Christian. is to be transformed. It's to allow those scales that, that are on your eyes, like they were on mine, to drop. To be transformed is to see people and treat people the way God does. The way Christ does. But here's your turn. I want to hear from you. What has been your experience with Christians in the past? Good or bad? Or both? This is my call out to you because I want to hear from you. You may think, well, my, my story doesn't matter. Yes, it does. You see, I go to school with the next generation of church leaders. I'm in seminary. I get the privilege of studying the Bible and, and, and talking about God all the time. And this community that I live in is concerned about people. So we want to hear from you. How have you been treated? We are interested in your story. We're interested in you. Because God loves everybody. And is concerned with everybody. And we should be too. And even if you aren't a homosexual, but you aren't a Christian, still let me know what you think. Have a great day. God bless.